Gotcha Life, cringe. It never ceases to amaze me. It just keeps getting worse and worse. Hi, my name is Parker and I just moved into my RV. So apologies for the n no cool colored lights behind me like I normally have. Just bear with me, okay? I'll get those back soon. And also the other day I was browsing the r slash gotcha life cringe subreddit and every single day, it just, it just gets worse and worse. You know what I mean? Every single time I go to it, I got some gems for you. You know what I mean? I got gems to check out today. Let's just jump into it. Earth, teen. We're already off to a great start, you know what I mean? This is nothing new in the gotcha community. I've seen lots and lots of posts of people shipping the pandemic with Earth as, as humanized characters, you know? Anthropomorphizing the virus and Earth and making them together, you know? Yeah, it's so cute, just so cute. I, I think this is the cutest thing I've ever seen in my life. Like, what is it? This is why I drink, I swear. Yes, it's Diet Coke. I can't drink alcohol when I'm in an RV. Why is Earth a small ubu femboy? With the state of the world right now, I thought he would be a feverish alcoholic that hadn't showered in the past few weeks. You mean me? <laughs> Hell yeah, dude, absolutely. Femboy Earth is the worst thing I've seen so far. I mean, honestly, there's really not much to say. I mean, we're living through a historical event right now and you're making ship art of it, you know what I mean? So there was a coming out video, a, a gotcha life coming out video, right? And in the comments was this lovely gym right here. I like my cousin, but we're both girls. I don't think she likes me, but as a friend, though if she does not, I'll be single. Alabama 100, man, you know what I'm saying? Hell yeah, dude, I'll be single. Good, she's your cousin. <laughs> I mean, she could date her because they don't have the same bloodline, but she shouldn't because she will be judged and stuff. They do have the same bloodline, what do you mean? They don't have the same bloodline because they don't have the same parent. Cousins each have different bloodlines because, stop. Y'all don't know anything about how life works in general. Just like, <laughs> what the hell? Like what, what is even happening, man? Must resist. Sweet home Alabama joke. I already made it, I already made it. Sorry, I'm sorry. Hearted by the creator? Yeah, they replied, good luck too. What the hell? Man, I, all fandoms are freaked up, okay? Like, it's it's just a fact, they're all messed up. But for some reason, the gotcha life community just has so much more than, than normal. Like, you know, the fact that someone would leave this comment alone is already worse than most fandoms. But then it was hearted by the creator as well. It makes no sense. It's so weird. You know, it's like I can handle people making, you know, NSFW art of sands from Undertale. But like, this is a whole other story. What happens in Gotcha Life, it's a whole other story. Other boyfriends. Cares about their GF's well being, respects her privacy, listens to her, doesn't get jealous, loves to spend time with their GF, gives her freedom, doesn't abuse their GF versus my boyfriend stalks me, gets really jealous, likes to mm, me, gets really abusive sometimes, ignores me when I'm hurt, doesn't like to spend time with me, doesn't give me any freedom, never listens to me. Yep, we are now fetishizing abuse. It's so kawaii, desu. I don't want a good boyfriend, I want bad because edgy. You know what I mean? I don't understand what, what goes through these people's heads. You know what I mean? It's just, it's immaturity and it's just ignorance is what it is. This person has obviously never ever had a boyfriend that is actually like this. They just are, they're romanticizing that idea in their head because they think it would be hot for some reason. I don't know. Knows the fact that he is abusive sometimes. Sometimes, ubu. <laughs> yeah, not all the time, just sometimes, right? The hell? Why would you accept a boyfriend like that? Well, these gotcha kids think these days that psychopath, mm, toxic boyfriends are cool and quirky, which is disgusting. It, it, it really is. It's like, you know, we can sit here and, and cringe at it and la have a laugh, but it doesn't change the fact that this is real. Someone actually made this and is seeking out this type of, of boyfriend, you know what I mean? And thinks that it's good and preferable to a normal one. That's a big issue. Once again, other fandoms, you know, there might be NSFW Art of Sands and, you know, but they aren't like fetishizing abusive boyfriends, you know what I mean? See, I know exactly why this happens and I've, I've been trying to put into words exactly my thought process, but this comment perfectly sums up exactly what's going on here. These kids are so desperate to grow up and find themselves. They think that by accepting horrible things like this, which are normally adult issues and not what a child should go through, makes them mature. 
It gives them a sense of control, that they are so mature and able to handle adult issues. But they don't realize that this isn't something that adults do or want to do. It's just what happens to some of them, but not something to strive for. However, for many of these kids, it's what is normal for them, so they think that it's normal. I think that a lot of a lot of kids who are making this type of content, they think that it's an adult thing to, to be in really fricked up situations like this, just because they've seen adults in these situations, or they see it on TV, you know, dramatized. It's just really sad and it's disturbing and it makes no sense at all. I don't understand. That's not a boyfriend. That's an uncle. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Moving on. A boy I rejected sent me this a few days later. Now I'm really glad I rejected him. I love you. Oh no. Heartbroken. Battery at 1%. Delete feelings. So you're telling me that you... You rejected someone, a real human being, and this real human being <laughs> sent this to you. Are you, <laughs> oh my God. Did he use a hair picture to color in your hair instead of actually coloring it? Oh my, f he actually did. <laughs> I feel like this belongs in r slash nice guys, for real though. It kind of do, you know what I mean? And now we have the best gotcha life thumbnail of all time award here. I'm gay, but I'm in love with a girl. Can someone please tell this child what gay means? It's amazing how many simple concepts the gotcha life people get wrong, you know what I mean? It's like, <laughs> I'm a lesbian, but I like boys only and not girls at all. I like how they put a bow on him to emphasize the fact that he's gay. Oh my God, oh my God, guys. There's just, there's no words. There's no words to even be said, you know what I mean? There's no, no words to say. Health Class X2 Episode 4, come. Featuring human girl, throw up, and Jackson. <laughs> Jackson. The only normal name person in the whole class. God. This is gross in general. Why is there sticky white everywhere? Someone spilled ice cream and didn't clean it up. Now the ants are coming. <laughs> yes. I don't know where, where do you even get ideas like this? You know what I mean? Where does this even come from? Come from. Who even thinks of this type of stuff? You know what I mean? Who even thinks of this, man? Is this what they imagine school to be like? Or is this like, is this like what they wish school was like? You know what I mean? I don't even understand the intention behind this or where, how this even came about. God. Oh man. Somebody come get her. No. Oh my gosh. This is the amount of cringe that makes me forget everything bad in my life. I, I think it just emphasizes everything that's bad in my life. It doesn't make me forget all of it. It just brings it all to my forefront. You know what I mean? When I was like, you know, 13 plus, I never, I, this is not what I did. This is not. I played Super Mario 64 DS on my Nintendo DS when I was 12 years old. You know what I mean? I installed the homebrew channel on my Wii. That's what I did when I was 12. You know what I mean? I didn't do this. This is not. God, imagine growing up today and this is what you do rather than like normal things. You know what I mean? I feel so bad for everyone in the gacha community because it's mostly children and they're just, they will not have a childhood. They will never ever be able to get it back. You know what I mean? It's just not something that the rest of us ever had to deal with, you know? Well, that's it for Gotcha Life cringe for this episode. I bet next time it'll be even worse. <laughs> if you enjoyed, check out my Patreon.com. There's a link in the description. Without your support, it would not be possible, guys. So if you enjoyed, please consider becoming a patron. Everyone on your screen has helped out and without them, it literally, none of this would be possible. I'm 100% serious about that. So thank you. If you would like to join them and, and help them out and help me out, the link is in the description down below. And of course, a special, special, special thank you to my $100 patron, Dr. Dad. And it's not just them, but channel members as well. You can become one by hitting that join button down below. Channel members are basically $5 patrons, but it's done directly through YouTube. You pay YouTube and then YouTube pays me after taking 30%. But you know what? I'm begging for money on the internet, so I'll take what I can get. You know what I mean? Everything I said about patrons applies to them as well would not be possible without their support thank you thank you channel members be sure to follow my social media twitter instagram and i even have a discord you can join links for all of those are in the description down below please go follow please go join the discord and i'm vlogging my life here in this in this rv so if you're interested in looking at that seeing how that's going check out my second channel i'm vlogging it so go check it out oh well, what's this there's a link in the description as well and you can click on this card right here to go check it out Hey, it's free to check it out. And if you like it, it's free to subscribe there as well. So go do it. If you don't like it, no big deal. You didn't, didn't cost you any money. Thank you so much for watching everyone. I hope you have a lovely day and I will see you next time. And I love you all. Bye.